Habari zenu wa Kenya zangu. Hello my fellow Kenyans. I am Gakonga the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Hello from here in London. Today I just want to talk about one topic and this topic is about building football academies in Kenya. I want to talk about about this topic because uh, there is a debate currently going on in parliament in regard to to building football academies in Kenya. Now, if we build football a football academy in every county that is 50 sorry that is 47 football academies now if we build a foot a football academy in every constituency that is 290 football academies wakenya wenzangu can you imagine a situation where kenya has 290 football academies now what i want to say this idea has been going around for quite some time. Even I remember last time, around uh, 2015, when uh, Nick Mwendwa, uh, Gol Semerang, Ambrose Rachiel, when they were vying for the FKF uh, pres presidency seat, I remember this idea uh, being thrown about here and there. And some of them promised that if they get elected, they will uh, propel this idea forward of building football academies in counties. Now, we cannot have a situation where we have a football academy in every county. That will be a disaster. You know why? Because we don't require football academies in Kenya to develop our football. I have been saying this and I have put it right and correctly in my vision total football kenya i have already addressed this issue it is already well addressed that we do not need football academies in kenya to develop football and if we do that this is these academies are going to only attract children whose parents have connections or know somebody within and it's going to be another uh, corruption scandal like nys and it's going to be an academy in every county that to that to go there or to get your child to be admitted in that academy you would have to know someone or you have to pay bribe or there will be some sort of uh, there will be some sort of corruption going along so that your child can go there you know why because i take an example of kiambu county kiambu county population one one point eight million population what can one football academy do for kiambu county nothing so a lot of money is going to be spent by the government putting these buildings and construction and pitches all around the county the can the country but they are but they are going to help no one this is going to be uh, an investment that is going to be wasted. Why can, can't we use this money to build uh, referral hospitals, for example, in every county? Every county requires a referral hospital. And as we go forward, every con constituency in Kenya requires a referral hospital. So that's the direction we should be going as a country. That is where we should be focusing when it comes to spending money. But about going in every county or constituency and erecting buildings and calling them academies and then we think this is the way forward for our football this is not the way forward henry rotich please you are the minister for finance this kind of money going to build academies is going to benefit very few individuals now for our football system for our football to get better we need an inclusive football system where whether a child is talented or not, they will be involved in football. And those who have talents will go further. Then they can be scouted around, still playing locally, and their talent can be nurtured their own, maybe by football clubs uh, around Kenya. So really what we need in Kenya is to empower football clubs. I have been saying this. We need a different football system that is inclusive. We need a different football governing body that will that will be able to manage football in Kenya properly from the from the village level all the way to the national level. So I will go back to what I have been saying. What is wrong with us Kenyans 
is that our football system is wrong. Our football system is designed to fail. It has not been designed uh, to grow talent, to grow football, to grow sports economy. It has none, none of these elements there. That's why our football economy is zero. I want to give you an example. In England, here, sports economy per year is 2.5 Kenya trillion shilling. Sports economy, 2.5 trillion Kenya shilling. That is nearly twice the economy of our entire country, Kenya. Okay? And this is sports alone. Sports. In, 20, in 2015, sports became number 11 in industry ranking in England. So sports in England right now is ahead of motor manufacturing industry. And you know how England is big when it comes to motor and vehicle manufacturing industry. But sports has overtaken that. Sports has overtaken uh, legal services in England. Sports have taken accountancy services. Sports have overtaken... Um, uh, man, sorry... Um, publishing services and you know how england is big when it comes to publishing nearly every book in the world is published in england and so many other uh, publishing are done in england but sports as an industry has overtaken so many industries so our sports industry will continue to die because we keep applying the wrong solution let us go the way i have said put the football system proper uh, create a new football governing body from afresh. Let us start afresh. Let us usher in a new era for football in Kenya. And this is all, this is what Vision Total Football Kenya is about. I urge the members of the parliament. I urge uh, senators. I urge all the uh, women reps to watch my videos. I have over 48 videos talking about football system in Kenya and how to fix it. Because uh, football, Vision Total Football Kenya, which is a vision that I have uh, developed over five years and now is ready. This vision is about sorting issues of football in Kenya, implementing the correct system of football in Kenya so that we can move forward. The way the way Kenya, our national team, the way we are losing games and playing against India, Taiwan, uh, countries that we should not be playing against, we should we should be aiming higher. So where we are going, things are only going to get worse. And now, talking about football academies at county levels, this is not going to work because you can only have uh, in one academy. For let's take for example Lamu County, you can have one academy. Where will it be located? Mpeketoni, Lamu Town, Faza, you know, that academy will only have about 18 boys and girls per age. So what, what are we going to do uh, with the other boys and girls after we've taken the 18 who are talented in the county? What are we going to do with, with the others? So we, are, we, so we are not going to give enough opportunities to the youth. And this is why the youths are, the, the youths in Kenya are going into drugs, they are going into illicit um, alcohols, uh, social vices. This is because we haven't done the right thing for our youths so that they can, they can join and belong to the right uh, social, um, you know, social institutions where they are going to benefit from sports. This is why they are going like this. They are everywhere drinking, uh, you know, illicit uh, brews and taking drugs. This is wrong. Imagine, I got a message from uh, John Motudo the other day that it is it is going to take, this is what uh, the message said, it is going to take a hand, 110,000 Kenya shilling to rehabilitate one youth. Now imagine, eh, if we have, if we already have a good football system, the, all these youths, most of them will, will not go to these drugs and alcoholism. So we will not need to, first, uh, to rehabilitate them. So if we do the right things, we are going to save money. Let us not create football academies where we are only aiming on, where we are only aiming in talented youths only. We need to do something that is inclusive. This is how we build the sports. This is how we build the economy of sports. This is how we sort the issues of social vices within our community.
my dear brothers and sisters, let us say no, no to football academies in Kenya. Why can't a club like Gormahia go to Lam and set up a football academy? Why, why a club like AFC Leopard? Why can't AFC Leopard go to Kakamega, set a football academy, go to Nairobi, set another small football academy, go to Kitui, so that they, the clubs themselves can nurture those talents that they are looking for. But as far as the government is concerned, it should be about an inclusive system for football. So I will say no, no to the government of Kenya spending money in building academies. Let the government focus on other things like hospitals and schools and, uh, you know, helping uh, pregnant women, you know, homeless people. This issue of football does not require government to build football academies to nurture talent. No. And all this is happening because, like I have been saying, our football federation is dead. Our football federation cannot guide the government of Kenya or give them guidance, give, them, give the government the way forward so that public money is not wasted. I, I am asking the government of Kenya, all the MPs, all the senators, women rep, the, the CSs, deputy president, president Uhuru Kenyatta, please listen to my video and take my advice this is so important because i know exactly what i am talking about in england today there is no single academy that is, that has been built by the government but the, the, the football is proper here youth football system is proper everything in matters football is proper economy is growing is growing so quickly that in six years the economy of sports in in england is growing by a half a trillion Kenya sharing sports economy is growing by half a, has grown sorry uh, sports economy has grown by half a trillion Kenya shilling in only five years so I look at a situation where in five years maybe I think the sports economy in England will reach somewhere about three trillion Kenya shilling my brothers and sisters let us build inclusive football not football that is aiming at talented ones only this is why in kenya football is being played in empty stadiums because we because if we go this way we will only move on with the talented ones and those who are not talented but they love football they'll be left behind so playing in empty stadiums is a reality in kenya going forward if we continue to go the way we are going and if we go the way of building football academies for the elite and talented ones again my question is this what age is going to be the first age in this academy five year old six year old 12 year old if for example the academy is, is going to start uh, let's say seven year five years old how Will this five-year-old be scouted somewhere to know that he has talent so he can go to the academy? So you see what I'm saying. There are so many unanswered questions when we go this way of academies. But if we have an inclusive football and then at 9, 10, 12, we discover a boy is talented, then at least we can pick that one boy and propel him, yeah? Give him opportunity so that he can go further. But building a academy just like this, blindly, just a football academy so that we can nurture talent in a place, I keep saying the more we focus on talented ones, the more we, we are heading to the wrong direction. Football must be inclusive because there are so many people who love football who are not talented. In future, they are going to become the coaches, the football managers, the football investors, the football fans. But if we leave them behind, we are going to continue the way we are in Kenya. You see that Kenya Premier League games are played in a stadium where there is 50 people watching. This for lack of a better word, is nonsense. Let us build an inclusive football. And this will begin by having a proper football governing body. I'm not going to shift any blame at all to the government of Kenya. It is not as a result of failed govern governance or anything around in, in, uh, on the side of the government. It is on the side of our sport governing body they have failed totally they don't give government the right advice football leadership is missing remember the issue of betting companies we've been going up and down up and down and i said before the sports governing body need to come out and 
give the way forward the government will listen i am sure the government of kenya is ready to invest in sports i have said this before there is actually a clip i have made saying that the government of kenya is ready to invest in sport because i know this the president keep promising deputy president keep promising css are promising how much they want to invest in sport but our problem our main problem is the sports governing body and in this case football the, our football governing body is not there it is dead. It is going to take us nowhere. I said we must come to a point where we start a new football governing body that is going to use the vision that I have developed for the last five years, Vision Total Football Kenya. And that is a body that is going to use the proper structures, international structures to develop football from the grassroots to the national team. Therefore, thereafter, we are not going to struggle beating teams across Africa and in Europe because talents are going to emerge from all the counties. But we must, we must at, at the initial point, at the starting point, we cannot focus on talents. We must focus in inclusive football and then the talents will emerge and then those who love football will still remain within the game this is how we grow football this is how we grow sports economy this is how we grow talents this is how we grow fans this is how we grow stadiums let academies be left to football clubs to develop their academy here in england even a small club has a small academy so how do how do we now tell the government of kenya to build football academies this is wrong advice this is wrong way this is another corruption scandal waiting to erupt in a few years time wa kenya wenzangu keep following what i'm saying in vision total football kenya because i honestly understand our situation in kenya i understand where we have gone wrong i understand where we should go i understand the way forward wa kenya wenzangu i'll leave you in peace i'm gone i'm gakonga the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. I leave you in peace. I'm gone now.